this job was a disaster from the start. Let's do it again. And this time, we'll see five easy ways to get it right. A quality insulation job begins with the work order. Go over it carefully with the supervisor. Ask about special requirements or any unusual item. Then stock your truck with all the materials and tools you'll need at the site. Double check the vent sizes on the work order. Don't forget baffle material, sheet metal screws, duct tape, plenty of insulation. All it takes is one missing item to slow you down. And in your business, time is money. You'll save a lot of time and hassle if you can spot questions now before you get to the job site. When you leave the shop, you should be ready for the job. From the moment you arrive for an insulation job, look and act professionally. First impressions count. No one expects you to be clean after a job, but you score points with the customer by looking neat when you first go to the door. Hi. Hello, my name's Isaiah. Hi. Introduce yourself, your company, and explain what you're going to do. Take the time to move furniture and protect floors before you start working. During the job, keep the customer informed. Let them know when you're going to lunch or leaving for a break. When you finish the job, pick up all loose insulation and other material. Leave the house as clean as you found it. Then go over the job with the customer. Show them what you've done. Point out where you've placed the certificate of insulation and give them the warranty. Good communication is important. Your next job could be a referral from this customer. Or you might not get a referral. On the job safety means more money in your pocket in the long run, even if it takes a little extra time. First, dress and equip yourself for the job. Long sleeves make a difference. Tape them tight at your wrist to keep the insulation out. Also, tape your pant legs shut. Coveralls give you added protection, especially in crawl spaces. Knee pads are easy to put on and easy to like when you're doing a lot of this. Attach a utility knife to your belt so you won't spend half your time looking for it. Make the twine long enough so you don't need to unhook the knife when you need it. This installer also keeps a pair of gloves clipped to his belt so they're handy. Goggles are worth a million bucks if they save your eye once. Use them whenever you're drilling or cutting. Finally, a good respirator is probably your most important piece of equipment, but only if you wear it. This one doesn't cost much. It gives you minimum protection. This one is better. It has a higher efficiency filter, and it should last for several jobs. For the best protection, wear one of these with replaceable cartridges, especially when you're blowing attics. Bottom line, use one. Now that you're equipped, work safely. Before climbing, always check your ladder. In attics, the rule is simple. Keep your feet on the framing. On high roofs, you need fall protection. A harness could save your life. It could also save your company a big fine. That's because fall protection is a government regulation. Ask your supervisor what type of safety equipment your company uses and when to use it. If your job is running the blowing machine, always turn the machine off before you fix the equipment. Make sure you know what you're cutting or drilling into. You don't want to say hello to 220 volts. Be on the lookout for asbestos. Know your company policy about what to do when you find it. Remember, taking chances not only endangers you, it may risk the safety of others. Nothing slows you down like a screw-up. Most can be prevented if you take time at the start of a job to walk around the house, inside and out, looking for potential problems. Make notes on the work order. Then use your work order as a reminder. You may find things the estimator missed. Hidden knob and tube wiring, roof leaks, wood decay or insect damage. Sometimes your best move is to the telephone to check with your supervisor. 
Do this whenever you find something unexpected or when there's a conflict between what the work order says and what the customer thought was going to happen. Often you need to make on-the-spot decisions not covered by the work order. Ventilation is a good example. Where the vents are placed affects how well the ventilation will work and how attractive it will look on the house. Work closely with your crew partner. The rule is simple. Think it through before you start. It could save you a lot of time. Work like this will end up costing, not saving, your customer money. It may also cost you unpaid time fixing it. Home insulation is one of the best energy deals going these days when it's done right the first time. You're the key. The customer gets the most from the insulation job only if you do quality work. That means installing the insulation so it's the proper depth and density. So building cavities are completely filled. And so the insulation is not compressed. It means looking after details like reconnecting loose ducts, cutting water pipe insulation to fit tight, and weather stripping access hatches. Some of the things you do have a big effect on the health and safety of the occupants, like protecting heat producing fixtures, or keeping insulation away from chimneys and flues, or making sure the roof vent doesn't become a roof leak. It may take a little longer doing it right the first time, but a lot less time than doing it over again. A utility inspector may check your work. They expect a quality job because they have a big investment in it. The utility may help the customer pay part of the cost of weatherizing. It's worth it for them because every insulation job is like building a small power plant. For the utility, energy saved is the same as energy produced. Think of the utility as part of the team. Together, you're helping to lower energy bills, increase the value of the home, and improve the environment. Many times, the utility is also your best reference. If they like the work you do, chances are others will hear about it. So remember, there's two ways to do an insulation job. The way the Loose Fill Brothers do it, and the right way. Use your work order, act professionally, work safely,